this morning I have read from the book of Ephesians chapter 2 and 3 so let us have a look a few things from these two chapters this morning Ephesians chapter 2 let's have a look Ephesians chapter 2 was written by Apostle Paul in this chapter he talks about how we have been saved by grace how we have been saved by grace and then how we have been filled with the new life in Christ and how we have been given the blessing of God's eternal life it's very important many people don't understand about three, these three things we will be saved by grace in Jesus name in Jesus Christ we will have eternal life in Jesus Christ and we will be given uh, we have been given the blessing of God's eternal life it's very important maybe you are Hindu or you are Muslim or you are Buddhism or Jainism or Sikhism or you are maybe Christian our religions our religions cannot give any eternal life our religions cannot give our eternal life maybe you are Christian but you did not accept Jesus Christ as a personal Savior you will not have eternal life only through Jesus Christ you will have eternal life our religious is nothing our religious cannot save you may be Christian Christian will not save you you may be Hindu Hindu will not save you Buddhism Buddhism will not save you Jainism Sikhism so and so we have so many religions but our religions cannot save us religious is nothing so we have to accept who is the true person to give you eternal life we have life after that we are just a stranger in this world just think about it so who will give us a new life that is eternal so only through Jesus Christ can give us a new life so it's very important that's why Paul was explaining about how Jesus brought the people who were dead in sins in transgression and life and all the sinners have been raised to sit in heavenly places heavenly place with Jesus Christ and they were saved by faith and give of God and Jesus Christ also reconciled with Gentile and Jews he's the only one in Ephesians chapter 2 Paul said that God also made a covenant with the Gentile he said that Christ's blood Christ's blood also cover their sins in order to bring them close to him therefore they can receive the hope and promise in Jesus Christ and no longer be separated from the love of God in this chapter Paul also talks about the Gentile he said that they were no longer a stranger they all are fellow 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 citizen in the kingdom of God in the kingdom of God there is no Gentile there is no Jews there is no 
men there is no women all are one if you accept that jesus christ as a personal savior we are one so the door is open for everyone those who believe in jesus christ he will surely he will bring us he will give us a new life an eternal life that we will never die again so this is very important so now let's have a look from chapter 3 chapter 3 is talking about God's mystery plan revealed for the Gentile how God revealed his plan for the Gentile let's have a look yeah let's have a look in this chapter Paul was talking about how God's mystery plan revealed for the Gentile so he said he said that he was a prisoner of Jesus and was bound because he believed in preaching the word of God to the Gentile and Paul explained about the mystery of Christ and how it was revealed to men they did not know about him until the Holy Spirit came down to the apostle but now through the Holy Spirit all has been revealed and the Christian church has been established in every world do you know that now the Holy Spirit is revealing to everyone and the Christian churches has been established in everywhere all over the world so Paul was concluded this Ephesians chapter 3 by mentioning that he prays that God and the church will always bring glory to God because he can do more than anyone can ever even imagine he's talking about the love of God for Gentile he loved everyone he loved everyone so what we need to do is we have to accept Jesus Christ as the personal Savior so that we will have eternal life he will give a guarantee no religion cannot give us any guarantee for you I'm a Christian but Christian will not give you a guarantee if you are not a true Christian if you are not accepted Jesus Christ so how he will give you an eternal life so if you accept Jesus Christ as a personal Savior you can be saved you will never die so this is very important today how many of you understand this sort of message may the good god bless you all